Hello. It's really good to see you. Um, today, I'm doing something a little different. Um, I'm kind of sick right now, so if I sound a little stuff, stuffy, that's that's why. Um, I actually right now have bronchitis and a sinus infection, um, but I'm, I'm feeling better. I've been on antibiotics now for about 24 hours. I'm starting to feel better. I've been taking it easy. I've been resting all day. I haven't really felt like doing anything, um, but I was starting to get hungry. I haven't really been hungry all day today, um, and it's it's getting on over later in the day, and I was starting to get hungry, so um, I ran up the street to get something to eat because I didn't feel like cooking anything. I kind of wanted something nice and warm. You know, I wanted a hot meal, but I didn't want to make it, so um, this is going to crinkle. I went up the street to Mrs. Winner's Chicken and Biscuits, Southern Good, Authentic Southern Taste for over 25 years. Now I am not, I'm not a big uh, fried chicken person, and the only time I ever eat fried chicken is when I go to a, like a family reunion or something like that. Um, so really the only time I ever go to Mrs. Winner's is in the winter time when they have chicken and dumplings. They gave me this little packet of stuff. I'm trying to open. Yeah, the only time I really go is in the winter time when they have chicken and dumplings. They don't. Um, they don't have them all year. They only have them in the winter time. And I was actually surprised that they still have them. I mean, it's springtime, and usually by now they've quit selling them. Um, but I thought I would take a chance and go see if they had any, and they did. So I was really happy about that. Um, so I'm going to show them to you. And when you get chicken and dumplings, they also give you a biscuit, which is great. They're not as good as Biscuitville biscuits, but they're not bad. So you get this big, uh, it's a styrofoam container with this plastic lid on it. It's warm. Oh, it's so warm. I just, I just got home with it and I feel better already and a biscuit which comes wrapped in this paper and they're smaller than Biscuitville's biscuits too but they're not they're not bad I'll show it to you see mm. it's not a cookie I know some some of y'all European, European people call biscuits you know you call cookies biscuits but this is a biscuit it's not sweet. It's just um, it's just bread. See, and it's wonderful. Mmm. You know what though? I just realized. To eat my chicken and dumplings, they gave me a fork. Normally, they they're supposed to give you a spoon. They gave me a fork. So I don't know how this is going to go. I'm going to show you the chicken and dumplings. I don't want to tip it over too much. But you can see in there. Now it is kind of thick. See, it's it's kind of thick like that. And it's what it is, it's, it's kind of like you make a chicken, it's like you make chicken soup. And then you add bread to it. Mmm. Oh my God, that is so good. And they're so good. And there are pieces of chicken in here, too. I'll show you that. See? there's. They take um, chicken and put that in there. And it's, it's, it's to me, it's as good as homemade. Don't tell my mama I said that. Mm. It's really, really tasty. Um, so, I, yeah, I just wanted a hot meal that I didn't have to prepare. <laughs> It's gonna be quite challenging to eat this with a fork because it's um, it's kind of parts of it can be kind of runny. So I don't know about that. But yeah, I have felt absolutely lousy for the last twenty four hours. I did make a video last night, but I had to, I had to start over a couple of times because I started coughing. And one time I had to sneeze and it was really, 
It was bad. I about knocked the table over. <laughs> I've been blowing my nose all day. I've been coughing all day, sneezing all day. It was just pitiful. But a day of rest has done me a world of good. And um, I'm sure these chicken and dumplings will too. Now the dumplings are the bread part. It's kind of hard to see, but they're different sizes. Little pieces of bread in there. And it's nothing but biscuit dough that they drop in there when it's boiling. And it cooks the bread right in there. It's absolutely wonderful. It's, it's just so good. <laughs> so, I wasn't planning on getting sick this week. My kids are gone. It's spring break and they're not even here. So, um, you know, I was thinking, well, all I have to do is go to work every day. I can just come home and I don't have to pick anybody up. I don't have to drop anybody off. I don't, I don't even have to make dinner if I don't want to. But no, instead I decided to get sick and feel terrible. I really know how to live it up. But I am on antibiotics. I went to the doctor yesterday and that's when I found out how sick I was. I actually went to work yesterday, and I stayed at work most of the day. Um, but, oh, about my job. There is still a possibility that I may not have a job. Nobody knows yet. I still don't know anything. Um, my job has changed a bit because of some things that have happened. I don't want to go into a bunch of detail, but um, my job is changing. I'm doing different stuff now. And um, I've got, I have to learn how to do some stuff that I don't normally, I didn't used to do. And I'm kind of bummed out about it, but not much I can do about it. You know, things change, and that's one thing you can count on in life, is that things always change. And sometimes you just have to go with it. Oh, that's hot. It's like eating a hot pocket, man. It's like molten lava. Um But I'm I'm pretty much on my own all day. Like I don't really interact with many people when I'm at work, which is fine because that's what I prefer. <laughs> I like to stay by myself and not have to talk to lots of people. Um but I made it through most of the day, and then I just started feeling really, really bad. So, um, I called to see if I could get in to see my doctor. Went there yesterday afternoon. So, um, I stayed at home today. I didn't go to work. And I didn't get out of bed. I know this is... But I didn't sleep last night. Now, I got maybe three hours of sleep all night last night. I didn't get out of bed until about one o'clock this afternoon. <laughs> I just felt so bad. Um, but yeah, the most productive thing I've done is going out to get this. I also had to stop at Dollar General and get some nail polish remover. I have some that I bought, and it's supposed to be extra moisturizing or something, but it's it's terrible. It doesn't it doesn't actually remove the nail polish. So I like to take pieces of the biscuit and dunk it down in the um, chicken and dumplings. Oh my god, that's so good. But I'm starting to feel, I'm starting to feel better. I'm not going to push it though. I'm not going to do, I'm not really going to do much today.
my cats have thoroughly enjoyed having me here all day. They laid on the bed with me for most of the day, and we did this marathon of Trailer Park Boys episodes. I started way back over at the beginning of season one. Oh, God, they look so young. After watching the older seasons to go back to season one, they just look so young. That's, that's it. That's all I did. And I slept when I could. Like, I would fall asleep in the middle of an episode, and then gunfire or Ricky cussing somebody out would wake me up. And not really ideal conditions for getting rest. But it's better than nothing. Look at that big fluffy biscuit. <laughs> so when I was in Dollar General, um, I noticed, well, at least in the one I was in, there's no overhead music in there, which I noticed because I do store walkthroughs where I take my phone and just go in and show you stuff. And stores with no music are great. Because sometimes you go in a store and the music is so loud that it's distracting, you know. Even if I use the headphone, the air, earbud microphone thing, it can still be loud. So to find a store that has no music is wonderful. And I thought, well, I'll have to come back here sometime and make a video in this place. And I will. <laughs> Not today, but I'll do it sometime. And then it got me to thinking about all the people who have commented on those um, the store walkthroughs. Hmm. The ones that are the funniest to me are people who complain that all I do is walk through the store. And I'm thinking... The title says it's a store walkthrough. What what did you really expect to see? I mean, what did you think I was going to be doing? <laughs> Somersaults? I mean, what, what were you expecting to see when you clicked on this video? <laughs> I, don't, I don't care about them. Um, a lot of people have said in the comments, you know, these are cool videos, but I could never, I could never do that. I could never walk through a store and do that. Sure you can. You can, trust me. Um, it may seem to some people like it's um, intimidating or something. It's totally not. Anybody can do it. It doesn't take any special skill. All you need is a cell phone and a store. In about 30 minutes of free time. That's it. Go in there. I like to do it when I'm by myself. I don't normally like to, like if my kids are with me, I don't like to do it because I I end up worrying about, um, you know, oh, they want to go, they want to come show me stuff. It's distracting to do it if anybody's with you. So go by yourself into any store. Doesn't matter. Um, whatever store you like. You do need to pay attention to the music. If it's too loud, that could be a problem. Um, if it's a smaller store, like a mom and pop store, like when I went to um, URA Mercantile, I asked the owner... If it was she was there and I asked her if it was okay with her if I walked around and did that and she said oh sure I just wanted to let her know what I was doing and she was totally fine with it um, but if I go in somewhere like Dollar General or Walmart I don't ask anybody I just do it and and the trick to it one thing that you need to remember is how you present yourself when you do it um, act like you act like you're supposed to be there act like you belong there if you walk in there all nervous and looking around like your eyes are just darting around, the employees are probably thinking you're going to steal something or you're going to hold up the place. And don't walk around like that. Just walk in normally, calmly, casually, you know, scope it out. What I do a lot of times, I will walk in 
I have my phone and in my pocket I will have a little container that has my earbuds, the earbud microphone in there. And I will walk in and determine whether or not I need to use that. And I would only use that if the overhead music was um, a bit loud. Sometimes I'll walk in a store and the music is so loud that I know that even with that little earbud microphone, I can't make a video in there. Like I can't because the music is too loud. I went to um, Lowe's Home Improvement and was going to make a video in there. The music was so loud, I couldn't do it. It was distracting. It was so loud. So, um, I didn't. It was just too much. I don't know why they turn the music up like that. I can't stand it. Even if I'm just shopping, I don't like it. It's not a block party, for God's sake. I don't want to be blasted with music the whole time I'm in there. Um... Act like you belong there. Don't act nervous. Even if you are nervous, just, you know, walk, you know, walk with your head up high and just walk and look around. Listen to the music. Okay. Judge the place. Is it is it too crowded? Is it too noisy? Are there screaming children? There's always going to be a screaming child. I'll just go ahead and tell you that now. It doesn't matter what store you go in. There's always going to be one screaming kid somewhere near you and they will follow you too. You can't help that. That's unavoidable and it will happen to you. There could be one kid in the whole store and as soon as you start making your video, they will start screaming and they will come find you. If you try to go to another part of the store, they'll go there. It's awful. Anyway, act like you belong there. Don't act nervous. Get you some, um, you know, the earbud little microphone thing. Mine came with my phone. This is what I use. This is a, and I'm not going to debate iPhone and Android. I don't care what you use. If it makes you happy, that's all that matters. This is a Samsung Galaxy um, S7. That's what this is. Um, people ask me all the time, you know, uh, why do you face the camera this way when you're making a video? It seems like uh, that would be harder and I've had some people say, are you too stupid to, you know, turn it the right way? There are multiple reasons why I do it this way. And if you, if you want to make store walkthrough videos, you have to decide for yourself what works better. You may prefer to do it this way. You may. Whatever, whatever you're most comfortable with is what you should do. When I started doing this, though, I had an S5, a Samsung Galaxy S5, and on that one, the microphone was on the back of the phone. It was back here, and I found that if I tried, I started out making videos facing this way, but the sound quality was so much better if I flipped it this way and had the microphone closer to my mouth. It sounded so much better, and it took some practice to get used to it, and sometimes I still have trouble, you know, pointing it where it needs to be, but I, I try. And I have continued doing it this way. Number one, because it's just, it was just a habit. You know, this, this was very comfortable. Um, plus, at the very beginning, if I show you my face, I turn it this way and I can see myself. And I know I'm not just making a video of the top of my head or my chin. You know, I know it's pointed at me and I can see, I can see what I'm doing. Um, to have to turn, to have to stew it, and you have to leave the orientation. You can't change it. Um, like if I'm right in the middle of a video, I would have to make two separate videos if I wanted to flip the orientation, you know, front facing or whatever. I don't have time to mess with that foolishness. So um, I just start it the way I want it to be for the majority of the video, which is like this. And then I can just, after I get done, blah, 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 this is the store. Then I can just take the phone and turn it and show you whatever I want to show you. Now the microphone on the S7 is right here. It's right on the end of the phone down here where you plug it up to charge it. And we have a headphone jack. I still use my headphones. Um, don't laugh. I don't care. This is the microphone right here. Now when I make a video. My dumplings are getting cold. I'm talking too much. I'm sorry. 
if you're watching this video to hear me eat, I apologize because once I get talking, it's hard for me to stop sometimes. When I make a video, you can't really tell. Usually I'm holding the phone in my right hand and I have the phone about four inches away from my mouth. It's about right here. And I hold it off to the side where I can see, like if I'm organizing nail polish, I can see what I'm doing. And it, and it, play, it positions the microphone very close to my mouth. I don't have it like right here, because that would be weird. But I have it three or four inches away from my mouth m the majority of the time when I'm making a video. It's, it's about right here. Um, and I have to bend over, like if we're doing something on a lower shelf, I have to bend down or kneel down or something like that. Sometimes it's uncomfortable, <laughs> but um, it gives me my left hand free to move things around or do whatever I need to do. So even if I had it flipped this way, with the phone here, it would be very hard for me to even look at what I was making a video of. You know, I don't want it. I don't want the phone too far away from my mouth because that affects the sound quality. So even if I had it flipped where I could see what I was making a video of, I couldn't really see it unless I did like this, which is really weird and would give me a headache eventually. So it doesn't even matter. See, I can flip it this way because I'm not even looking at it. Um, and over time, just with practice, I've tried to get better at getting it where I want it to be. Um, and that, that, you know, th those are some of the reasons why I film things that way. I get that question all the time. And I think a lot of people just assume I don't know any better. Like, I don't know that I can flip it. I know. And if I'm using it just to take pictures or whatever, that's what I do. Um, but those are some of the reasons why I do it that way. Now with your phone, the setup is probably totally different from mine. But whatever phone you have, you can practice with it, you know, just you can make videos at home and pretend you're in a store and walk around and you could do a little walkthrough of your house and, you know, make a little video showing them stuff in your house just for practice. Yeah, see, so you get down to the bottom of the dumplings and the fork doesn't work very well. But just, you know, practice with it a little bit if that makes you more comfortable. And, you know, when you're ready to actually go into a store and do it, just walk in. I walk in a lot of times. I have my phone in my pocket and I walk around a little bit just to get a feel of... You know, if I don't know what I'm going to do, I'll walk in and go, what do I want to make a video of today? And I'll pick an area if I don't have one already in mind. I'll just go, eh, let's make a video over there. Um, sometimes I pick um, areas of the store that aren't as crowded. You do want to stay out of the way of customers. I, I am very conscious of that. You may not be able to tell, but I'm bobbing and weaving a lot of times, just getting out of people's way. Um, if I'm focusing on something and suddenly I move over here, it's probably because I know there's somebody there's somebody coming and they're you know they're headed for the area where I am, and I just want to get out of the way. I want people to be able to shop. I don't want to get in anybody's way because I know from personal experience there is nothing worse than going in a store. And I have a knack for this. I have this curse. When I go in a store, whatever I need to get, there's always somebody standing right in front of it, like right in that section of the aisle. They just stand there like they're they're on dope or something. They're just kind of, oh. and they're oblivious. They're completely oblivious that they're in anyone's way. Or they're sitting there pecking on their phone, not paying attention to anybody. Until I finally have to just say, excuse me, do you mind if I get, I need to get right there, you know. And then they always kind of go, oh, oh, I'm sorry. Situational awareness. This is something a lot of people don't have anymore. 
It's really annoying. People are just so unaware of things going on around them. They just, they don't know. They're in their own little world. A lot of times they're, they're just doing this, you know, and they're, they're not, they're not paying attention to anybody and they'll bump into you or get in your way. And they, you know, they just, they're just clueless. But when you're making a video, if you do what I do, if you go into store and make a video, um, be, just be aware of the other customers, you know, try to stay out of the way. I try to be considerate. Um, and if someone comes over and wants to look at the nail polish, um, like say they want to look at the Sally Hansen stuff, I'll move over to the other stuff or whatever. You know, I'll just look at something else for a few minutes. Whatever I need to do to get out of the way. Um, after you do it for a little while, you really get pretty good at it. You get to where you can be aware of people around you. Um, you don't really even have to think about it. You just do it automatically. I've been making these videos for a while now. And people ask me, you know, does anybody ever come up and ask you what you're doing? Nobody ever has. Never. I've never had one single person come up and ask me what I was doing. The only time anybody ever said anything to me was um, the first and only time I ever tried to make a video in Aldi, and that was over a year ago. I was um, showing, they had remodeled this Aldi down in Asheboro, North Carolina, and I was showing, you know, what they had done when they remodeled the store, and one of the employees came up and said, ma'am, I'm sorry, you can't, you can't do that in here, and I haven't made a video in Aldi since. I respect that. You know, if they tell me not to, I don't. That's the end of that. But never have I had anyone else say anything to me. That was this one time when I made a video in Field and Stream. When I got done making the video, I didn't even notice until I was completely done. And I put the phone back in my pocket and I turned around and there was this whole cluster of salesmen standing probably 20 feet away and they were all staring at me. And I thought, I look behind me, I'm going, to, what are they looking at? And they mumbled something amongst themselves and then one of them walked over to me as like the appointed member of the group that was going to confront me. And he walks up with this weird look on his face. I can't even do it. It was like a mixture of horror and confusion. He just, it was like a Jim Carrey face. He just comes up and goes, ma'am, may I help you? Are you looking for anything? And I said, no, I'm fine. Thanks. I'm good. Thank you, though. And I just walked out because I was done with my video and I wasn't going to buy anything that day. And that was it. I don't know if they thought I was casing the joint or I was going to steal something. I don't know. Um, that was real. I wish I, I wish I could have gotten a picture of that man's face. It was so weird. It would have been like the best meme ever if I could have gotten a picture of his face when he asked me that. It was bizarre. And I'm thinking, y'all ain't got nothing better to do. This store is full of customers. Why don't you go help them? I'm sure somebody in here needs to find a bass boat or something. Go help them. And uh, no, I've never had a customer say anything to me. Yeah, I've gotten some weird looks, but they, I wouldn't say they were weird looks. They were more um, quizzical looks, kind of like, mm. but nobody's ever said anything to me. But I think, um, I, I think people worry too much about other people paying attention to them. You know how I was saying there's people don't have situational awareness anymore. They don't. And you don't really have to worry about people looking at you. I mean, unless you walk in there in a chicken suit or something, nobody's going to notice you. You know, nobody's paying any attention. Nobody pays me any, any attention. I can walk around in Walmart all day and make, I could make 20 hours of video in there. And I would be willing to bet $500 no one would confront me about it. No one. Because they wouldn't. Well, the employees run the other way. I mean, if you have a look on your face like you need help, they run away. 
And I'm not even picking on them. When I worked in retail when I was in college, I did the same thing. And you get to where you develop the sixth sense of a customer that's going to take up a lot of your time. So you just conveniently go to the other end of the store. Oh, I used to do it all the time. I would avoid customers like the plague. I was getting paid four twenty-five an hour. And I always had a lot that I had to get done in every shift. And honestly, if I had stopped to hold the hand of every customer that wanted me to show them where the paper towels were or explain why we didn't sell um, shelf paper or shower curtains, I would have never gotten anything done. So it was kind of a means of self-preservation to hide from these customers. Because 90% of the time their questions were stupid. They wanted to know where something was and a lot of times they were standing right in front of whatever they were asking about. It was really funny. So no, no one's looking at you. No one's going to say anything to you unless you're making a spectacle of yourself somehow. Um, again, if you walk in there acting nervous, you may attract some attention. You know, they may think you're trying, you're in there to do something, like steal something or, you know, you're in there doing something you shouldn't be doing. Just walk in and act normal. I think most people who see me doing this right here, looking at things, and I try not to get other customers in the shot most of the time. Um, I, I do a lot of um, twirls. I mean, you can't really tell, but I kind of spin around people like that. So I kind of go around around them like that. <laughs> so they're so they're not in the shot. I'm like a ballerina in there sometimes. Um, I think a lot of people, when they see me doing this, they think I'm just on the phone with somebody because I'm talking, you know, especially if I have the earphones in, I know they think I'm on the phone and I'm just showing somebody something and, and you know, we're talking about whatever I'm looking at and showing them. I think that's what most people assume it is. So it doesn't even register with them that it's anything they need to focus on. But I've done quite a few of these walkthroughs. I love doing them. I love doing it because I always find something neat and I like looking at stuff and I don't like showing y'all stuff. So, um, I don't mind doing it. I, I really get a kick out of it. I try to find different stores to go in, you know, stores that you might not have ever seen or been in. Um, I do that. But if you're out there and you want to do a video like that, you should definitely try it. I mean, if it makes you feel better, you could practice at home. Take your phone or whoever's phone. Practice. See what feels most comfortable to you if you want to do it like this or like that. Um, just, you know, play around with it some. And then when you're ready, just go out somewhere to a store or wherever and do it. Um, don't be afraid. But I've said before, I think I think from time to time we all need to do something that's kind of scary. You know, something that scares us a little bit. I think it's healthy to do that. Push yourself. And just remember, walk in there like you belong there. Act like you've been there and you're supposed to be there. Um, don't get nervous. Pay attention to the music overhead, especially if you want to monetize your videos. Because if the music is too loud, you get a, a copyright ding and, and they will demonetize your video and there's nothing you can do about that. Um, three, watch the other customers, stay out of people's way. And four, have fun. You know, just, just have fun with it. I have a ball every time I do it. I have a great time. Um, it's, it's a lot of fun. I really enjoy it. I want to take you out of the mall sometime. We have a mall here and a lot of malls in America are gone. I mean, they're just dying out. We do have a mall here called Four Seasons Mall. And I would like to show you that sometime. It's really neat. I haven't been there myself in quite a while, but um, I'd like to take you to the mall and show you parts of the mall. I think that would be fun. Um, several other stores I want to go to that I just, I just haven't, I haven't, I just haven't done it. Um, the only time I just remembered, um, the first time I made a video in Ollie's, the Ollie's Bargain Outlet store, um, you couldn't see it in the video. 
the, the, the only weird interaction I ever had, and this was a, with a customer. She didn't work there. There was this lady in there. And this was the only weird interaction I've ever had. And this was over a year ago. I was, I was just walking around in Ollie's, uh, showing you some stuff, you know, and talking about it. And, and we got about probably five minutes into the video. And I was looking at, I remember I was looking at um, tablecloths or tarps or something like that. And I felt eyeballs on me. I felt somebody looking at me. And I looked, and there was this lady standing about five feet away. And she was just staring at me. She was just standing there with her hands down by her side. She, she was a customer, just staring at me. And I thought, oh, you know, I must, I must be in front of whatever she wants to look at. Let me go. I'll go down this way and get out of her way. So I turned and went down this aisle. And... And I kind of looked back where I was, and she had come down the aisle. She had followed me, and she was still about five feet away, just standing there, just staring at me. She didn't say anything. She just stood there staring at me. And I thought, okay, this is weird. This is really weird. Um, so then I went to another aisle, and within about 20 seconds, there she was. She followed me over there, and she just stood there and just stared at me. It's like she wasn't even blinking. She was just staring at me. It was really weird. Um, but it was funny. I, I had to work very hard to keep from laughing because that video was maybe 30 minutes long. She followed me for about 20 of those 30 minutes. 20 minutes. And at one point, I went diagonally all the way to the other side of the store and I thought okay she's not going to follow me this far I'm going to I'm going to lose her for sure because it was starting to distract me like I couldn't pay attention to what I was looking at I mean up and down aisles she was just following me staring at me she didn't say anything she was just staring so I went to the diagonal far end of the store and sure enough she went right with me she followed me right over there and was just staring at me and it was really, really creepy. Um, I started to just pause the video and ask her, "Can I, can, can I help you? I mean, what, what, are, what are you doing? What are you doing? You know." But then, just like that, she just turned and walked away, and never. I never did find out what that was about. But she just about the time I was ready to pause the video and say, "Can I help you with something? Are you, are you lost? What's the matter with you? You know?" But she turned and just she just kind of turned on her heel and walked away. Oh, I don't know what that was about. That was really weird. But that was the only time I've ever had a weird, uh, uncomfortable interaction with anyone making these videos. Most of the time, 95 to 99 percent of the people pay you no mind at all. They they do not care. Um, it's it's fun though. It's fun. You should try it. If it's if this is you know store walkthroughs or something you want to do, give it a shot. You may find you really enjoy it. You don't really need any props. You don't need any preparation. You just need a store and a phone, and that's about it. So um, I have finished my chicken and dumplings and my biscuit, and it was very good. And it is about time for another dose of Advil, and I'm going to go take a nap <laughs> or watch some more Trailer Park Boys. I don't know. But thank you so much for coming in and eating with me. I really enjoyed it. And I hope to be feeling better soon. I have several videos I want to do, but I'm mildly stuffy and I keep coughing. I cannot believe I have not coughed one time during this whole thing. I'm really shocked. Um, but I want to wait until my voice is in better shape before I try to do anything too serious. Um, but anyway, happy Friday. I hope you have a wonderful day. And I will see you again soon.